Everything explained in this video is summarized from the coin market cap. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future XRP news and some other cryptocurrency news in general. Now, take a look at this. SEC versus Ripple battle reaches penultimate conclusion settlement in millions. The Securities and Exchange Commission has suggested a settlement with Ripple of $100 million over the XRP litigation. The SEC has been criticized by Ripple for requesting fines that are excessively high in comparison to the case involving Terraform Labs. Court Judge Torres did not grant the Securities and Exchange Commission's request to dismiss its case against Ripple officials. The Securities and Exchange Commission has responded to Ripple's recent letter about the Terraform Labs consent judgment. This is a significant development that has taken place. In its response, the Securities and Exchange Commission, Cassette, asked for a hefty settlement sum of $100 million, alluding to the possibility of a resolution to the ongoing legal battle about the status of XRP. A response has been provided by the SEC to the letter that Ripple sent regarding the Terraform Labs consent judgment. It would appear that the Securities and Exchange Commission is requesting a settlement of $100 million. XRP Ripple has been quite loud in its criticism of the Securities and Exchange Commission for what it considers to be harsh punishments. The blockchain business cites the case of Terraform Labs, in which the Securities and Exchange Commission levied a fine that was only 1.27% of the entire amount involved. In October of 2023, the Securities and Exchange Commission six that requested to dismiss its case against Ripple executives Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. This changed the course of the ongoing debate. This action was regarded as a potential opening for Ripple and the regulatory authority to engage in negotiations regarding potential solutions. Later on, however, Judge Torres ruled against the request that was submitted by the SEC. A charge of Ripple unfairness in the SEC in its notice of supplemental authority. Ripple makes it quite apparent that it, it condemns the Securities and Exchange Commission commission for allegedly being biased and demanding disproportionate penalties. The company calls attention to the significant disparity in treatment that exists between its case and that of Terraform Labs, highlighting what it refers to be an unfair enforcement approach taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission. In the past, the Securities and Exchange Commission has filed charges against Terraform Labs and Du Young Kwan, accusing them of committing financial fraud using crypto asset securities that involve an algorithmic stablecoin in addition to other crypto asset securities. This most recent statement from the Secretary of the Path for a settlement that could finally bring an end to the protracted legal struggle, it would provide clarification on the regulatory status of XRP and could potentially set a precedent for future cases involving crypto asset securities. The current legal struggle between Ripple and the SEC is getting closer and closer to its culmination, which might have far-reaching ramifications for the cryptocurrency market. The future impact of this litigation on the price of XRP and its legal status is a topic of debate among subject matter experts. Continue reading to learn about the various points of view and to gain an understanding of what the future holds for Ripple and XRP. Moon Lambo, an expert in XRP and a YouTuber, thinks that the price of XRP may have the potential to climb after the SEC litigation is resolved. On the other hand, he contends that such a price increase would be illogical given that XRP has already been subject to legal certainty for quite some time now. Given this clarity, it is reasonable to assume that the decision of the litigation will not have a significant influence on regular holders of coins. I'm not going to say that the price of XRP won't go up after the dispute between the SEC and the Ripple is resolved. I'm only stating that if something like that occurs, it would be illogical because XRP already has legal certainty and it has had such clarity for over an entire year. Whatever the outcome of the lawsuit may be, it will not have any impact on the average person who has XRP. Another knowledgeable individual who goes by the name CryptoPole thinks that XRP will not attain complete legal clarity until Ripple has paid any fines that may have been imposed for selling XRP without the appropriate registration. Moreover, he proposes that the court should restrict Ripple from selling its escrowed XRP to guarantee that the company complies with the regulations. Once Ripple has paid its fees, for selling unregistered securities, XRP will have a clearer understanding of its situation. They should be prohibited from selling their escrow account by the court. XRP legal position as a non-security. The opinion of an industry professional Moon Lambo is opposed to the other viewpoint, 
highlighting the fact that XRP has previously been recognized a non-security, which provides a clear legal position, considering that a judge had previously allowed Ripple to sell XRP almost a year ago. He believes that it would be unfair to prevent Ripple from selling the XRP that it helped. An overview of Ripple conflict with the Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple, which has its headquarters in San Francisco, is getting very close to settling its massive legal dispute with the Securities and Exchange Commission. He's uh, According to the Securities and Exchange Commission, six Ripple's XRP transactions constitute unregistered securities offers, and the SXC is pursuing fines totaling $2 billion. In an earlier ruling, a uh, United States District Judge ruled against Ripple, saying that the company's sales of XRP to sophisticated investors totaling $728 million were illegal. A recent a statement made by Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, underlined the company's global resiliency. Despite these problems, he pointed out that Ripple had a, a strategic edge because it was easier to comply with regulations in countries other than the United States. The Ripple company is currently expanding on a global scale. In any case, the resolution of Ripple's legal struggle with the SEC will be a defining event for XRP as well as the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. To reduce the amount of penalty that it is requesting from the SEC, Ripple Labs has used the Terraform Labs settlement as a yardstick. According to Ripple, the SEC request for a fine of $2 billion should not be exceeded by the company's proposed fine of $10 million. Following the filing of a recent document that involved the continuing dispute between Ripple Labs Inc. C and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission C, the price of XRP experienced a precipitous decline. According to the information that we have, the price of XRP dropped by three on Thursday, reaching zero points four upper documents filed by Ripple defense attorney James K. Philan disclosed information on a court document that Ripple just submitted in the SEC lawsuit. The SECV's Terraform Labs issue was just resolved and Ripple has submitted a notice of supplemental authority that refers to the settlement. Even though this case involved a separate cryptocurrency project, Ripple maintains that it is relevant to the scenario at hand. It is the way that the SEC takes the civil penalties that is the primary source of disagreement. In the case involving Terraform Labs, the Securities and Exchange Commission say, levied a fine that was equivalent to approximately 1.7% of the defendant's total gross revenue. On the other hand, Ripple notes that the Securities and Exchange Commission issue normally seeks penalties in the range of 0.6 to 1.8 in comparable situations. In addition, Ripple emphasizes that there are no claims of fraud in their case, in contrast to Terraform Labs. On the other hand, the company contends that investors in XRP have not sustained significant losses, which would support a more moderate penalty.